So if you are into wood stoves at all, then you're likely aware that Steve from the Firebox stove has finally come out with the long-awaited mid-sized stove that he has named the Freestyle. Well, Steve has sent me one in stainless steel that I can share with you. If you're interested, keep watching. Since I've only had the Freestyle for a short period of time and I haven't even had a fire in it, I couldn't hope to give you the comprehensive review that I would like to. So instead, what I hope to accomplish is to give you enough information that you can decide whether or not you want to participate in the Kickstarter campaign that's opening up next week. I'll give you the specifications for the stove, the accessories that came with it, the configurations you can make out of this, and of course I'll give you a comparison between this stove, the Nano, and the full-size firebox. So Steve did not just come up with a new four inch folding wood stove designed to fill the niche between the Nano and the full size firebox. What Steve has done is created the stove that can be easily converted from a three side to a four side to a six side to an eight sided stove. Okay, so what I want to do now is take you down to the tabletop where I'll share with you the complete package that Steve sent to me. I'll give you the specifications and some close-ups of the stove. And then, of course, I'll show you each of the configurations that you can make with two of these stoves combined together. So when the Kickstarter campaign opens up next week, you'll see that you have a few options that you can choose from to purchase. To begin, there will be the individual freestyle stove packaged like this. It will be available in stainless steel and in titanium, but the other options will be based around the complete kit. And inside of the complete kit, you'll have two of these stoves boxed like this, as well as all the grates and other accessories, accessories you need to make the multiple configurations. So what I thought I would do is start by going through what comes with an individual stove and set it up for you. We'll go over the specifications for this stove and I'll show you some of its key features. Then I'll bring the complete kit back in and show you the other items that came with this and then we'll get into the multiple configurations you can make out of them. All right, so to begin, this is how the stove arrives. It is in this small stainless steel container. It is very similar to the one that comes with the Nano, just a little larger to accommodate the larger stove. So inside is a nice little design pamphlet or pamphlet with the information on how to assemble the stove. Not that the individual stove is difficult to assemble. It works basically like the Nano and the Firebox. It just folds open into shape. But if you're going to make the multiple configurations, there are some tips and tricks inside of this pamphlet, which will make it a lot easier to do so. So let's put that aside. Inside of here, we have a stuff sack. This has all the components for the individual stove, which I'll go through in a minute. You do have the box, which we'll be using as your fire plate or your grate underneath to catch ashes and coals, as well as, of course, keep everything together. There is a cooking grate that comes with the each stove for laying over the top and either putting a pot on or uh, grilling meat or whatever directly over the top. Let's put those aside. Here is how the stove arrives package in a cotton sack, very similar to what the Nano and the Firebox comes like. Now, this is the complete uh, assembly of the stove. And the first thing you'll notice is that everything is being held together with a Ranger band. And the reason is, is the fire grate, which I'll show you in more detail in a moment, is not attached to the stove. Unlike the other stoves where you open it up and the fire grate drops down, this has to be put in after you open the stove up and held in place or at least supported by a couple of the fire sticks as I'll demonstrate. So yeah, that's one thing that's slightly different. Let's just take the Ranger band off. So here is the fire grate. You will note that it is not square, that a couple of the sides are a little shorter than the others. And of course, that's to accommodate the shape of the freestyle when it's opened up because like the firebox, it is not a true square. And that's because the design of the folding over uh, makes it so that they can't have all the same size sides. You have four fire sticks and they are stainless steel. And it should be noted that if you buy the titanium version of this stove, the fire sticks will still be stainless steel. They don't have any plans, at least at this time, to produce the fire sticks in stainless steel. After that, it's just a matter of picking the stove up and unfolding it just like you would any of the other fire boxes. So to insert the fire grate, let's start by putting 
two of the fire sticks in through slots on the bottom. There are slots on all four sides of the stove, so it really doesn't matter which side you put the fire sticks in because it'll work from all sides. As you'll see in a moment when I give you some close-up, there are slots all over the place on this stove. And that is what you would expect from a firebox to give you the versatility that you're used to. So once you have the fire sticks inside, now you pick up your grate, match up the widest side, yes, the widest side to the widest side, and then drop it down inside like this push it down and it snaps into place. It pretty much holds itself in there, but I would recommend using the fire sticks the entire time because uh, you don't want anything to cause the grate to drop through. All right, let me give you a few close-ups and show you some of the key features. You will note right away that some of the similarities, it looks like there are design features taken from both the Nano as well as the Firebox, starting with the wired feet. And these wired feet are removable, as you'll see in a moment, so that you can create the multiple configurations. You'll note also that there are, is feed ports on the bottom common to both the Nano and the Full Fires Firebox, but this stove has them on all three sides, so three of the four sides, not just the one. It has the fold-down wind damper windscreen, very similar to what is on the full-size firebox. And you can see all the slots that you can use with the fire sticks to raise or lower the fire grate to whatever position you want it for, or to use with the additional two fire sticks slot put through in the appropriate place to hold up an atrangia or a atrangia gas adapter, or to raise the plate up if you want to put something down to use solid fuel or any other alcohol stove, or just to reduce the amount of fuel you need to get a fire closer to the top of the stove. The other use for the fire sticks, of course, is that they will span the top through any number of configurations, as I mentioned a minute ago. And what that useful, of course, is for a small pot, something like a 750 milliliter titanium pot, the Pathfinder Bush, not the Bush pot, the Bush pot is plenty big for this, but anything smaller than this, maybe the GSI Space Safer mug as well. So that'll allow you to support those for the smaller uh, pots. All right, let's go over some of the specifications for the Freestyle. This, of course, will be for the, the stainless steel version. I will put all the information in the video description below, as well as the weights for the stainless steel and the titanium version, although the height and everything else will remain the same. The stainless steel version inside of the box with the extra grate and all the fire sticks comes in at one pound, eight ounces, or 675 grams. The height of the stove from the bottom to the top is six and one eighths inch or 15.56 centimeters. The width across the top is four inches or 10.2 centimeters. The burn chamber depth from the fire grate to the top is four and three quarters inches or 12.1 centimeters. Okay, so what I'll do now is put this one, this one, freestyle aside, bring in the larger package and show you what else you get with it. So here is what you'll get when you purchase the larger kit. You'll get the nylon case that it, this all comes in and inside you'll receive a second freestyle stove because of course you're using two freestyle stoves to create the multiple configurations. Put that aside. Two long fire sticks, they're literally twice the length of the four fire sticks that comes with each of the individual stoves. These can be used for one of two things. They can be used to support the grates in either of the two eight-sided configurations if you want to use them for that. However, Steve recommends that you use the shorter fire sticks to support the grates in the larger configurations and save these to span over the top so that you can support pots and pans on top with those. Put those aside. These are the fire grates that were, came with it. I'll hold this one aside because I want to mention it separately. This is the six-sided hexagon, which is used obviously for one of the configurations known as the six-sided fire pit. Put that aside. 
And this large one is used for the eight-sided fire pit, and I'll demonstrate, of course, in a moment. Now, I have this smaller rectangular one, which is used right now for the SIPs, what's known as the Bushcraft 6. It's a configuration that's long and narrow, rectangular. However, this is not the one that you'll receive when you purchase yours, and I'll explain why. So my stoves were pre-production, and they didn't have the uh, final production grate available to send me, so they sent me these two instead. As you can see, one longer than the other. This one is designed to work with the uh, Bushcraft 8 configuration, as it's known, which is an eight-sided, long, narrow, or rectangular stove setup. Uh, the one that'll come with your stove will be shorter and uh, will be hinged so that you can use the same grate for either the Bushcraft 6 or the Bushcraft 8. So one of the reasons why I, I mentioned this, of course, is this is what I received. It does not fit in the nylon case, and Steve just wanted to make sure that I mentioned this is not the components that you'll have when you get your stove. There is one more component in the bag, which is a cooking grate that you can over use over a couple of the configurations. And I think it's worth noting as well that even if you wanted to set up, say, the six-sided fire pit, you can still use this as a cook grate. And now, I don't know how much you'll want to once it's full of ash, but I don't think that'll bother too many people for cooking. So there are a number of different ways you can use all of these grates, not only to set up the basic stove configurations, but also to cook on top with. So here are my two Firebox Freestyles side by side. And in order to create the multiple configurations that I'll show you now, you use these two stoves and you start by removing panels off of one stove and then adding them to another stove. But rather than uh, show you the, in detail how that's done, what I thought I would do to save time in this video is show you the completed version of each of the configurations rather than go through each of the steps. I I can do that at a later time, but I wanted to make this video short enough and give you just enough information to help you decide if it's something that you want to purchase during the Kickstarter campaign. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll take one of these uh, stoves out of the picture. I'm going to change this from a four-sided configuration into a three-sided configuration. So here is the freestyle in its three-sided configuration. And in order to make the three-sided, all you need to do is pull uh, two of the pins off and remove one of the panels and then put the pin back in. The pins are the legs on the bottom. So the reason why you may choose to use the three-sided version is if you're going for the lightest and smallest configuration possible to save weight, then this would be it. Now, in order to use it, you'll note that there is no fire grate with this one. So the way you would use it with wood would be to stack it into the stove vertically like the Swedish fire torch style and use it that way. It can still be used with an alcohol stove by placing the fire sticks through the sides. The, fire, the stove that it was designed around is the Tokes siphon stove. I don't have one of the Tox siphon stoves to demonstrate that with to you. I do have the Lixada version of that stove, but it is just slightly larger than the Tox and won't fit in this configuration. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll go up to the first of the two six-sided configurations. So this version of the stove is known as the Bushcraft 6. It is the rectangular version made out of six panels from the stove. And you'll note inside that the grate, I, again, I'll mention now that this is not the grate you'll receive with your stove. You will receive a hinged grate that can be used for this configuration and the longer Bushcraft 8 configuration. So it's a, it's a good overall size. I like this. I think I prefer the next one that I'm going to show you, which is just re you retain the six sides, but you make it into a hexagon. So let me do that now. So this configuration is known as the Fire Pit 6. It is the hexagon shaped grill that has been placed in the bottom as the fire grate. Uh, really, that's the only difference between this and the Bushcraft 6 is that you just change out the fire grate in the bottom. You just put the fire sticks into a different slots and uh, yeah, you've got a different configuration stove. You still retain both of the damper windscreens at the top and you have 
feed ports all the way around the bottom. And this is where you could use either the two longer fire sticks to span over the top if you have a smaller pan that you want to, or a smaller pot that you want to set on top because it's not as big as the diameter of this stove. So yeah, now what we'll do is I'll set up the Bushcraft 8, right? This is the Bushcraft 8 configuration made with all eight panels of the two stoves combined into one long rectangular stove. You can see the larger fire grate inside. Again, I'll just mention again that this is not the one you'll receive, but you will receive the hinge version that can be used for the eight-sided as well as the six-sided version of this stove. So yeah, this is getting to be quite a big stove. I can see putting some good sized pieces of wood in this stove so that you don't have to uh, process your wood as much. You still have feed holes most of the way around. Two of the panels do not have feed holes, but uh, the rest of the panels do. So there is one lash configuration of this stove, which of course is the Fire Pit 8. All right, and finally, this is the Fire Pit 8, and it uses the large round fire grate inside, suspended on four sides by the short fire sticks running through the edges that doesn't span right across. This is where, again, those long fire sticks are going to come in handy for supporting a small pot or pan or anything else you want on top and there are a number of ways you can use those. Again, you still have both of the wind dampers, although I don't know how much of an effect using these on this configuration will have. As you can see, this is a large stove. This is a campfire, really. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a big stove, and I, I don't know how often I would use it, but I can see using it once in a while. Okay, what I want to do now is bring in the nano and the full-size firebox so that you can see a comparison between the three stoves. All right, I've lined up my three uh, firebox stoves, the different sizes, the nano on uh, your right and the Gen 2 firebox on your left with the freestyle in the middle. And you can see how well it kind of gives you uh, probably a sweet spot in terms of size because I think if there is one complaint that people have for at least the stainless steel version of the Gen 2 5-inch firebox is its weight. It is a heavy stove. Now with that of course you get durability, you get size, you get heat retention. There's a lot of advantage to that. Uh, it's nice to have it in, in titanium. I was fortunate enough to be able to purchase one in titanium. Uh, but you know you don't always want a stove this big or this heavy. In, on the other end though we have the Nano and the Nano is a great little stove. It, it is a surprisingly efficient little stove with wood. You know when you first look at this, I know when I first purchased mine, um, I wasn't convinced that this would support a good size fire in it, especially in cold weather. Well I was wrong. It will work. Now it takes a lot more tending than the larger stove does, but you can get a good efficient fire in the little Nano just with more attention paid to keeping it fueled up. Probably though what I use this stove most often with is a Trangia or my Luxata titanium alcohol stove because it makes an ideal holder for either one of those stoves uh, with the secondary use as wood. I know they're not designed for that purpose but I think that's what a lot of people use them for is with the alcohol stove first and then wood second. Now in comes the Freestyle. This has a blending of both stoves in its design and it is right in the middle in terms of size and in weight. So I can see this being a, equally effective as an al uh, support for an alcohol stove or as a wood stove. So I guess there's only one way to know for sure though and that's to get outside and try it. All right, I think I've given you enough information on the basic freestyle stove, the complete kit that you can purchase as an option, as well as comparing it with the Nano and the full-size firebox, I think we can wrap this video up.
I read a couple of comments on the Firebox Freestyle before I close the video out. Uh, do you know, for me, and I think many people, it'll be the individual stove that'll get carried to the woods most of the time. I think the only time I'll carry the additional components is when I plan to build one of those other configurations that I demonstrated a minute ago. And even then, I'll just take the components that I'll use for that configuration rather than carry the whole kit. Okay, in the opening of this video, I stated my objective was to give you enough information that you could decide whether or not you want to participate in the Kickstarter campaign and take advantage of some of the deals that will be offered there. All right, I will be putting all the information I have for this stove and the titanium versions in the video description below. I'll put a link to the Kickstarter as soon as I have that there as well. I'm going to open this up to you if you have any comment or any questions or any suggestions about the freestyle stove, then please do so. My plan now, of course, is to get outside as quickly as I can, start building fires in this stove, see if what I can do about using it with wood pellets and with charcoal and then I'll come back once I have considerable more experience with it and bring you a more complete video. All right that's all I have for you today. Get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.